once had to get caught slipping. You did? You know, real talk. You know, I, I you know, I was, I felt a heavy blow when I heard about the sister getting stabbed on the subway. You know? So rest in peace to her. And, you know, we lift her spirit up. But at the end, you know, I feel like it's so important for you to connect to, you know, the arts. And martial arts is one of the most important things that we should be learning at this particular point, in this particular juncture. So I called my brother, Tracy Fleming, who is world renowned in his skill set. You know, he's a seafood, he's a teacher, uh, several different styles of martial arts, um, particularly Filipino stick fighting or Arnis. Um, you know, he has, you know, been on television and been in competitions in Japan and China, just all over the place. And he lives right here. He did which is just a jewel of a situation for us in the city of Richmond. And I feel like everybody need to be checking for this brother, learning from this brother, connecting with this brother, you know, whether it's physical fitness or self-defense or just, you know, getting your tight sheet together. All of that is relevant. And we need to be tuning into the talent that we have right here in the city. People from all over the globe reaching out to this man, you know, for his skills you know, choreography, fight choreography, and etc. But he's right here and we can learn from him and like, let's give it up for Tracy Fleming, all right? Thank you, thank you. How's everybody doing today? All right. Good, good, good. My name is, uh, like you said, Tracy Fleming. And uh, actually, uh, I've been doing martial arts since I was six years old. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm about to be uh, 49 next year, but uh, I have my children here, and they finally uh, decided that they wanted to show me, some interest in saying, hey dad, you know, we'll help you all to be like some of those instructors. So I'm just working with them, you know, they're still going at it, trying to get at it, but I really want to talk to everybody today and let y'all know that we don't really know what's going on, okay, but if you have Facebook, if you have Instagram, almost every single day, there's a missing little girl, all right? In D.C., there's kids getting taken away. Almost like, I think about what, over a thousand or something, maybe more, like last year, and it doesn't hit the news, okay? They don't want to show you this. They don't want to tell you this. The only thing we do is, like, if you're on Facebook, you see, hey, there's a 11-year-old missing in North. There's a... Uh, Nine-year-old missing in Chicago. There's a uh, eight-year-old missing here. When you go to uh, the BP, you see uh, pictures. Oh, this 24-year-old missing. Uh, this 22, 18-year-old missing. There's people pulling out and just snatching little girls and boys. All right, and we don't know about it because the mainstream news is not saying anything about it. They don't want us to know about it. Okay, so when I talk to uh, Mr. Chase, oh. and, uh, he actually said, hey, Tracy, you know, I want you to do a workshop. Normally, I do a martial arts demo, come out, do a couple things, and this and that. So today, I decided that, you know, come out, I put a couple of uh, techniques together. And now, if you want to participate, you can. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of striking moves, a couple of attacking moves. Now, one of the main things that we were talking about, like I said, was a girl in Oakland that got stabbed. Now you got white supremacists that are attacked. You know what I'm saying? Not only they snatch the little girls, then you got to worry about, you know what I'm saying, with the guy at the bum on the street, they might come up to you and attack you, grab you, do whatever. All right? So what I have is, uh, you know, I know not everybody's like a seasoned martial artist. So I came up with some quick, fast, quick release moves to get out of certain situations just in case. You come out in that situation, just in case you're coming out of Kroger late at night, if you're coming out of Target late at night, there's a van in the parking lot. Um, I did see, like, up in uh, Minnesota, there's actually, they said there's vans where there's, 
they try to snatch a mother and daughter at the same time to put them in, uh, you know, they have sex trade. They have um, all types of, uh, like even in Arizona, they found a sex camp for kids. Nobody's talking about it. It doesn't hit the news because actually it involves the elite. It involves the same politicians, the cats in Congress, things you don't know about, that worship from that Luciferian faith. They tell you they worship in Christ, but then they worship in Satan behind closed doors, okay? Now, I study. The reason why I study because I have to teach. Hello, Batman. You know what I'm saying? I went Where's to the back. I went to the back. It's a microphone. A lot of the sacred temples. That's I went a to microphone. Is this one's hammer? The thing is, mm -hmm. when you walk into those oh, temples, okay. you what walk to do with the that back of those temples, and well, listen to what he's saying. That were made in the Song of the Tong Dynasty with all these silk garments on, six to eight feet tall. They're all our complexion. They're brown. They're bronze. They're not yellow. They're not bright white. They're our complexion. So it tells us we are the Asiatic people who took the culture around the world. Okay? The Kushetic Empire, which I know about, which is I've read the uh, wonderful uh, the wonderful Kushites. Um, it's a very good book. But uh, the Kushite kingdom stretched not only from Egypt to Ethiopia, but it went to the Indus Valley, and it went all the way to Angkor Wat. Okay? So when you talk about the Sanskrit, you talk about the Sambodesians, we're, that's why they call us Sambo, because of the Sambodesians, which were the people who originally spoke Sanskrit. Okay? When you talk about Bodhiyama, the father shall live, he was a Dravidian. Okay? So, what you don't know, when you see the Buddha statue, you see our hair, you know that it's us, but they try not to let us know that it's us. They don't want us to know who we really are. I went to the temples. I went to a Confucianism temple, I went to a Taoist temple, and I went to Shaolin temple. And in the back of every single one of those temples, when you go to the sacred parts, they're all our complexion. Okay? Umi, I can tell you that too. She can vouch for it. She's been in China. She can tell you. All right? So... Now, what I want to do, I'm going to actually have um, a little uh, demonstration, actually workshop. I want to show people just a couple of moves to get out of specific situations, okay? Now, um, you know if you go into your car, you have your keys in your hand, it's better to take your keys, put them in between your knuckles when you're walking out. If you're by yourself, you know it's late at night, it's dark in that parking lot. You might as well have something on you ready just in case to aim at a vital area. I have right here uh, a couple of papers that I'll give out at the end that is going to show you the vital areas to aim at. If you're a woman, you want to be able to aim at a vital area. That means you want to aim at either the eyes, the nose, the throat, the solar plexus, the groin, the knees, the shins, or the feet. You have pressure points in certain places on your body, okay? You have a pressure point right on the middle of the foot, you have the shin, you have the groin. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you all a couple bases. If you want to come up and volunteer, you can line up right here, and I'm going to show you just a couple basic moves. We're going to go, I have about five of them. I'm going to take you through five of these techniques. After we do the five techniques, my kids, my children, I'm not going to say kids, kids is the baby, though. Right, but I'm going to say my children we are going to demonstrate a little bit of martial arts, and my son and I are going to do blade. Now, when we talk about the girl in Atlanta, I mean, not Atlanta, Oakland, they got stabbed, you have to be a little more trained in the martial arts to deal with a knife. Okay, a knife is a very uh, serious thing. I, I do Filipino martial arts, and they do not play with their blades, okay? Now, if you decide that you say, hey, I want to continue training, we are uh, starting classes in the fall, and you'll be able to come and learn the Filipino art. I'll show you the blade and the stick, and then we can go from there. But uh, if you want to come up right now, you can come line up. If there's anybody that's interested, you can line up up front. And then, or either I'll just have my children demonstrate, and we can go from there. Okay? I see him. Uh-oh. Okay, all right, so one of the basic moves, if you have someone walk up to you, you feel that you're a threat, okay, and they get, there's a certain point that you don't want them to get to, that's called a danger zone, the danger zone is right here, okay, my son is facing me, all right, when they get a rope right here, if they're able to touch you, if they're able to kick you, that is the danger zone, 
So if they get right here, the first thing you do is you're going to say, hey, I don't want any trouble. Okay? You put your hands up. All right, so everybody from here, be quiet, gentlemen. Young man, follow along. All right, right leg back. Here, hands up. All right, you say, hey, I don't want any trouble. Now, from saying you don't want any trouble, you already have yourself, you have your guard already up, okay? So if the person comes to you and they, they, they want to try to grab you in a specific way, if I go to my side and I grab him, he back, his hands is up. So from here, you have your heel palm strike, all right? Now, if you, if you know martial arts, you train your fists and your knuckles like iron, okay? But if you're a woman and you really don't have time for that, you just use your heel of your palm, okay? So from here, follow me. So we stand like this, okay? So now, step the right leg back. Oh, I don't want any trouble. Now, from I don't want any trouble, you got two palm strikes, okay? So ready, step up, and back. One, two, okay, again. Step up, and back. One, two, again. Step up, and back. One, two, again. Step up, and back. One, two. Now, when I do this technique and I demonstrate it, if I decide that I'm going to get a focus pad, I'm going to go to my daughter. Okay, hold it. All right. Okay. She's going to step back and block. One, touch. Okay, again. Ready? One, touch. And back. All right. So now. Turn it sideways, Tracy. Turn it sideways. All right, turn to the side. Okay, turn to the side. Okay, all right. All right. Okay, turn to the side. 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 Okay, turn to the all right. Now from that position there, the next movement you go back. One, two, three. Grab. Knee. Elbow. All right. And back. Again. One, two, three. Knee. Elbow. Again. One, two, three. Knee. Elbow. So now, back, back. Okay. You want to step back? Go. Great. Go. Good. Again. Go. Good. Mm. Ouch. <laughs> I was just trying to give you a hug, man. Yeah. What grade he is? 12. All right. Now, from that position there, if I was to step to him for real, mm -hmm. this is what you're going to do. He's going to block. He's heel striking the nose. He grabs the head knee. Then from there, he's going to elbow. Ready. From here. One, two, three. Four. Good. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Good. Mm. Ready from here. That one took automatic. For real. Clockwork. Mm -hmm. right. So you just do a step back strike, okay? So ready. Ready? Throw step back. Lock. Strike. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ready again. Ready. Step back. Go one. Knee. <laughs> she held on to the head. <laughs> she held on. All right. Now from there. Okay. Now watch this move. This one's gonna be a little bit harder. Okay. So step right there. From there. Once you do this movement here, you're gonna do a, a wrist grab. Last one, step to your hand. You grab her wrist. You're gonna come with me. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna step back and get back. All right, when you pull him back, you pull him back. See here? Bend your leg, you're gonna kick. So again, you ready? One, two, and back. One, two, and back. Now, somebody's grabbing your hand, okay? 
You have to have, always focus on the point of where the opening at. You have to fist here, like grass, you're gonna step back, side kick to the knee, then she's gonna run up, okay? Now look, if I grab the other side, you can't pull the same way. So when you grab the other side, there's a different technique. So from here, you're gonna roll the fist and back. Okay, so again, the one, roll the fist and back. Again, one, roll the fist and back. So when you roll the fist from here again, one, kick and back. Again, one, kick and back. So if I come to him, first of all, we're gonna do the same side. Okay, to the side here. Okay, when I grab his fist, pull back, kick. And then step back. Good. So now, right here, if I grab the other hand, he's going to roll the fist around, step back, and kick. Mm, okay. All right, again. So ready? One, roll the fist, and kick. Good. All right. So here we go. Good. If I grab her wrist to this side, okay, so roll it over, and kick, good, again, ready, roll it over, kick, good, all right, now, from there, we're going to go to, how are you doing, hey, I'm going to have him go, 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 Okay. Grown so folks are playing now. The only part with uh, self-defense techniques is that you got to break down the methodical part. I'm doing like the woman's self-defense, so it's like more technical. With kids, you got to go one technique at a time. You have to understand the combinations and then build it into a whole sentence. But right now, I'm trying to just demonstrate the self-defense of applying moves, okay? So now, say somebody comes to you and they give you a choke. They're actually choking your neck. Now, when they choke you, we have a technique called Eagle Claw. Eagle Claw comes up, down, strike. Okay, again, so up, down, strike. Now, when you actually do the strike here, you can knee again, and you can elbow, okay? Now, if I come to my daughter, if I choke from here, all right, even if you got nails, if I come to him, press to the side, so we're not choking him, he breaks it, he strikes, knee, elbow to the face, again, ready, one, Two, three, four, five, six, okay? So that's the elbow strike. Now, from there, we're gonna do an arm around the neck. If you remember in Philadelphia, there was a black girl. There was a guy that grabbed her, put his arm around her neck, and ran and put her in his car, and they finally caught him. And I think they caught him here in Virginia. Well, if any of y'all remember that, like it happened like last year, two years ago. And when he grabbed her, he grabbed her like this. And he had his arm around her, he was running her down the street. Now, if somebody come to you and they put their arm around you, okay, what do you have to do? You have the solar plexus, you have the chin, and you have the groin, okay? So from here, you're gonna elbow, elbow up, and hit the groin, okay? So if I come to him, and I put my arm around him, and I'm trying to walk and run with him. He's going to elbow me in the solar plexus. He's going to come up to my chin, then he's going to hit me in the arm, <laughs> and he's going to run off. Okay? So again, from here. Hey, babe. What you doing, girl? What you doing? Boom! They bring it up, and hit, bam, and then run off. Okay? Same thing with her. Okay, here. Okay, what's up? She's going to elbow. Oh. <laughs> okay? All right, again. Come here. One, two, three, and then run off. Okay? Remember, we're hitting the vital area. Next one. You're talking on the phone. Say if he's on the phone talking, okay? And somebody come up to me and grab your arm like this. If I grab your arm, what is another self-defense technique you can do for a woman? What do you think? Biting. Bite. Okay? Alright. So if I come near him like this, he's on the phone. 
When I grab him here, What's he, got? he grabs What's he got? my arm, pulls it over, he can bite. When he mm. bites here, he steps up and steps up on my foot here. Okay? <laughs> so I'm like, hey, man. What's up? One, hook, bite, extend, and then run off. <laughs> now, when you run off, when you be out for help, a lot of people don't listen to help, okay? They will listen to fire more than you say help. When you say help, help, fire, fire, help, they'll look before they say help. When you hear most domestic disputes, somebody say help, sometimes people don't pay attention. So yelling fire will get more attention than yelling help, okay? So, you do a bear hug. Somebody grabs you, well you cannot move your arm. If I grab her like this, and she cannot move her arm, what do you have next? You have what? A headbutt. So she can headbutt me in the face. So when she headbutt me in the face here, she hits me in the groin, and then she steps go, go, on my go, foot. Go. So again, from here, one, two, three, four. Okay? I'm going to let go. So from here, one, boom. <laughs> <laughs> it works. So same thing here, I'm gonna move my head out the way. I'm gonna grab him here, one, hit, step, and it'll run off. Okay? So now look, they grab you from the front. Okay? If I come in here and look from here, I grab you like this. How would you get out of this? Does anybody know? Bite? <laughs> huh? Yes, you can knee to the groin. What else? You can bite again, mm -hmm. okay? So now look, if I go to grab her like this, and I pick her up, you can grab her, go ahead, and bite. You bite the neck first, I'm gonna bite the ears. When I go to grab her, you bite the neck, you can do the elbow again, okay? So, you have those techniques to get out of situations by dealing with hands, okay? Now, from there, we're gonna do a little bit of Kung Fu. Alright, I'm gonna have some basic techniques. Once you understand the basic concepts of where to aim, what where the vital areas are, and what to strike quick, they won't let go. Now, if you got somebody that's really strong, no matter what, I, I think it was uh who was it? It was Enter the Dragon. It was Enter the Dragon, remember when Bruce Lee was fighting? And the guy got Bruce Lee and took him into a lock was about to lock him. This guy said they can lock you all day long. You grab him and you bite him, he will let go. You order him and turn your face and grab, grab whatever you got, he's gonna let go, and that's the truth. Okay? So now back home to my son. We're on the back. Again. I grab you here. Okay? So now same thing, headbutt, boom, hit, and set, and then one up. Okay? So now they're gonna demonstrate some basic Come here. Go with the central block. Central block. One, two, three. Step. One stance. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Y'all count. Go. One, two,